Hi folks and welcome back here. Uh, today I'd like to talk about this um, kind of unfolding bending grow effect and actually it's a lot about bending and um, here's just another example something like this and instead of making a step-by-step -step tutorial I'm going to break down uh, this project here with you so the first step you have to do is create a rectangle spline for example subdivide it with the uh, commands here and then make it editable and delete one half of it so and the next step is to add one of this band uh, deformers here so the first deformer I used in, in my um, example here uh, was sitting right next to the spline I can switch to the side view I hope it's so here you have your, the spline and there is the first bender and it's bending the spline slightly just like so and the object is set to limited and I've just match up the size and keyframe the strengths and the angle is set to minus 90 in my situation here then I added, uh, I added a new a second uh, bender that's sitting I think it's a red one is it a red one? yeah it's a red one here um, sitting very close to the first banner but it's set to unlimited and it's a little bit bigger and the um, keep keep y axis length is deactivated so you're creating kind of a the spline is kind of over bending here like a loop but in the end you won't uh, see that right so and then there is a third a third um, bender it's sitting right above the uh, situation here and it's just influencing the last piece like so and this bender is set to to the within box mode I think limited will work as well just match up the size and also just keyframe the strength and then you just have to uh, like offset the keyframes here in your timeline to make a nice nice animation so and we're going to create a new uh, rectangle for the pro profile spline for our sweep nerves. So just pretty small rectangle here. Put that all everything into a sweep nerves. And make sure your um, rectangle, your first rectangle spline is set to something like uniform with a higher count of um, segments so it just looks better and then you just animate the uh, start growth of the sweep nerves you create something like this Let me play it back so this is actually this is the only animation we we have to create like with keyframes and stuff like that so then you just drop that uh, sweep nerves object into a symmetry object so you have closed rectangle again just like so and then you put everything into a cloner object so in my case I 
choose to use um, a grid a grid ray object the count of five objects and the size of 400 to create something like this you can use a linear mode as well I will show you an example later with the linear mode so to offset the animation of the pieces I uh, used a step effector which is still set to the German word let me correct it step effector and and tell the step effector to effect my uh, my cloner of course and the step effector is um, it's actually it's kind of deactivated I just use the time offset functionality down below here set it to 10 frames when you play it back you have something like this so the pieces will grow one after another and and you also have um, control about the direction of the growth like in my example I um, just modified the the spline here for the effector and I think the uh, like uh, let me grab it here if you play around with it you can kind of influence the whole situation here like so so then it's just growing from one side to the other well that's actually that's a basic animation it's pretty simple and just to have a closed box in the end I just duplicated this just make a duplicate of um, the first piece here and just deleted the um, just deleted the last part of that spline so the second example I want to show you is um, the spline warp um, deformer I think it's a former yes it's a former um, so all you have to do to make to work with the spline warp to warp, warp that object around a spline is you have to create a spline like that arc here and then you just you know, do the same steps as before and put everything into a linear clone just increase the number group everything together with a spline warp and tell the spline warp spline warp to use your arc spline and basically that's it I think but I can, can rather choose from use the fit spline mode or keep the length you can clamp the end mode or extend if you use the off that what should happen yeah well like just like so you can do quite a lot of nice stuff with that and you can like uh, use the step gap functionality of the step effector so you have all the parts I can use a higher number here like 3 for example well you see what it's all about I guess it's quite useful quite nice you can create like a cable grows animation with it or something well guys thanks for watching see you soon bye bye